So after taking in all the measurements, the first thing that I did was go to this website right here. It's a free website or at least they offer a free option where you can do your own floor planning. And I'm glad I did that because the first thing that I learned from it was this thing that the total square meters was around 141. The landlord believed it was 150. And I think that's also what he was basing his price upon. But after after putting in all the measurements, it came out to around 141 square meters. So for me, of course, that is a lot because the current gym space, we, we work out around 40 to maybe 60 sometimes if we take in other people's places. So this is going to be a huge increase to our existing gym space and also it has this l-shaped form as you can see um and 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 you, you come in from here you walk into the gym and here is the back side so of course this was empty when i started uh, designing it but uh luckily this website is very handy dandy so you could you can add in all of these things that you can see right here to make it look like your own so let me take you through the, the how the the design of the gym potentially will look like. So if you press here on the 3D button, it will give you like a 3D layout of the gym. Um, so bear with me though, because the internet, my internet location is not working right now. So I'm using my mobile hotspot. So let me take you to the outside. So also bear with me i'm not the best at using this kind of software i've realized but i just know enough for me to get what i need um so again this is where the entrance is going to be at uh, the internet is lagging a bit i'm using my mobile hotspot uh, let me give it a second to load uh-huh all right, I think now it should have loaded by now. So to start with here is like a, here are glass doors, um, which for some reason this software does not show. Um, and you come in through here. So can you open them until halfway? Um, let me show you. So this is where you come in. So first I have dedicated a uh reception area right here so that you can come you can greet someone and right here and there's going to be like a couch uh i'm trying to get also a logo here hopefully you know see when a couch room people can be sitting waiting or just you know uh have some consultation you know and these are going to be like cabinets like we have right now where you can put you can store your stuff like real quick if you don't you need to go to the changing rooms and this is going to be the main gym area. Um, so I've based this gym design basically on the things that I have available or that I've already bought in. Uh, so these are the things that I have, like the pull-up racks, I already have those. These I already have. These are, I'm ordering new. And also these ones, I'm, I have ordered them basically. They are just like on their way. Um, so this is how it's going to look like. It's a, it's a quite a long gym. 12 meters 0.7 so here is going to be the whiteboard where we explain all of our workouts uh where we all gather and everything so okay let me see it looks like the whiteboard is, has moved a little bit i wonder if i can change it yeah i can change it okay yeah it's supposed to be here so yeah this is going to be where the whiteboard is at where we gather explain the workout of the day so I'm going to put the, the plates and the elastics and the ropes. And here I have four squat racks that had, like I said, I ordered this way in advance before I even had this location in mind. So I chose for these squat racks because they are movable and, you know, at the current location, things are not fixed. There's limited space. So my plan was not... Uh, sure yet and then above here you will see the pull-up racks which i already have uh, so I'm, I'm planning to put at least one fix and then this one can move all right so if we continue on you can see yeah so 
So because the gym is so long, I'm expecting here to have some people maybe doing some personal training, and then on the other side here, people can be doing some group exercises close to the door so that we can you know run and stuff like that. So here is where I, I have also I've ordered some new boxes, jump boxes and stuff, even the smaller ones. So here's where I'm gonna store them. They do take up quite a lot of space, and this is where I'm gonna put the the barbells and everything. And just you know. Uh, this is uh, approximately how it will look like and here we'll have um, storage again of the wall balls and maybe some other other things as well S you know you need a lot of storage in the gym and here also like a kettlebell storage or some other things because there's like a window here so like a nice view again so this gym space does come with order with its own chicken and uh, chicken <laughs> kitchen uh, so, uh net here something like a lavabo so I c the landlord says i can use it if i want it if i don't want it i can have it take it taken out well to me it does not bother me so i've designed it i don't know what to do with it yet but you know maybe we can put people can wash their hands and stuff like that so i'm planning on building a wall between that uh the last part of the gym and then to design on this side the women's locker room so let me take you through so for now, this is how I have dedicated it to be like, oh, one second, uh, bear with me. So when you come in, there should be like a place where you can wash your hands in front of you, sitting place to change in some lockers. And on this part, there's going to be the toilets and it, first the shower and then at the end, the toilet. So let me see if I can show you well. This software is buggy, but it's free. I cannot complain. The shower and the toilet. So let me see if I can enter the toilet. Yes, just a simple toilet, nothing crazy. All right. So if I come out of it again, and this is the shower, this is the locker room. So let's get out, walking backwards. Um, if we pan to the left, and this is where the men's uh, room is going to be. okay and this is the men's room so uh, you come in sitting area um, also another bench here so there's a door here that goes into another room and uh, which I'm gonna use as my own uh, like storage room you know or office or something like that so maybe that's the biggest reason why I put this room here to be for the men's because sometimes I might need to access this this room or to get through here and you know, since I'm a man, I don't want to go to women's room whenever I'm needed or something like that. But you never know. So this is how I have planned this one. And if you go to the right here, you see also the place to wash your hands. And these are going to be the toilets and the showers also right here. Okay. So if we go through this door, like I said, this door has two entrances. This is the first entrance. This is the other entrance. So don't mind me. This is the things that I put in when I was testing this software, but this room is technically empty. But the most important thing to know is that it's on entrance on that side. So you can enter it from the other side. Um, so when I'm coming in, I will be able to um, just, you know, enter it from the back side. So this is another view that the software offers. So just to see from a, like a bird's eye view in a way. Again, so you see like these things, I don't know how to take them out. And not that technical, I guess, but so this is where you come in. You do here the workout. Um, the workout here of the day will be here. Like I said, because it's such a long gym, I'm expecting it to have some other people doing some other things. And this is where you enter the women's dressing room. So here is the women's dressing room and the um, shower and toilet. And then the men's, you come through here, toilet and shower. This is going to be another room, like I said, for uh, for other things. So this is how it looks from the other side. All right. So guys, what do you think? So this is weird, of course, okay, because there's a wall here. But yeah, in this is how it's going to look like. Uh, like I said, the f the, the ceilings are tall-ish, not very tall. So they are like three meter seventy, I believe, and a good pull-up height is like two meter thirty. 2 meter 40 uh, so that's you have enough space for um, I think uh, like a muscle up but the wall boards are going to be a little bit tricky 
for the women it's okay for the women height but for the men's height you're supposed to be at three meter and five centimeters the ball itself is 30 centimeters so that means if you throw a ball here you'll go through as a man but you'll probably be hitting a ceiling so i might need to put some kind of like protection against the ceiling so that we don't kill it so again this is how it looks like okay so this is where you enter here's where you enter talk to the receptionists you know checking your bag or pay your membership here um, maybe like a fridge or something here I'm not sure yet put your bag in here put your bag here oh oh, oh, oh. you see sometimes these things happen and don't really get it all right oh, so we are back to where we started all right guys so that was that was the tour um i hope i hope this was informative uh, let me show you the gym from the other side so if you come up out of the dressing room again here's the place you can wash your hands this is how it's gonna look like um storage for the boxes balls the mats I already have like 60 mats i've ordered some other new green mats to make it look beautiful um but if it was up to me if i had more money i would have bought even new mats so yeah and this is how you come out of it and then you go outside yeah so you can see the doors here now eh? then you go outside yeah so guys that was it that was the tour of the the gym let's go back to the video